this is Warren. In this video, we'll be talking about how to get you started with a Bank Binance Smart Chain Wallet on MetaMask. If you are here for the first time, be sure to subscribe to our channel, like this video, and click the notification bell. I'm the author of Crypto Assets for Passive Income. I share in my YouTube channels, I share from time to time videos on how to derive a passive source of income from your cryptocurrency portfolio. And I'm doing a weekly giveaway. I'm giving away one physical copy and a license to my digital course for one lucky winner each week. For the full details, do check up on the video link description box right below. With that, let's get to today's content. Binance.com is a centralized crypto exchange. They have been pushing for a Binance smart chain, which is their own blockchain network in the year 2020. And the first thing to participate with this blockchain, which is currently running in parallel with the Ethereum blockchain, which is the major, major blockchain network that is uh, the smart contract, which all the smart contracts and all the DeFi are happening on the Ethereum blockchain. Binance smart chain, from the words of CZ, the, the founder of, of Binance, BSC, Binance Smart Chain, in short, is running and complementary to Ethereum. With that, we are ex for Binance Smart Chain, you are going to expect way lesser in, in the gas fee that you are going to pay. Transactions that happen on BSC, blocks confirmations happen on uh, 4 seconds every block, which means that Every 4 seconds, there will be a block that is going to be verified. Which means that transaction that will happen on Binance Smart Chain in 2020, as for now, would occur and confirm and be verified much more quicker than Ethereum and with far lesser gas. And which means that you get to transfer more and you get to pay the transaction fee way lesser than, than if you are going to do it on Ethereum. Now, before everybody is going to get started on Binance Smart Chain, you must be set up for it. And one of the first steps is to get yourself a wallet. I use a Ledger Nano S, which is a hardware core wallet. And for me to get started is so is very easy. And for many of you who already are using some forms of Ethereum uh, wallet address, be it in, uh, using through my, my either wallet or MetaMask, you are already set up 50% of it. For those who, are, who haven't even have an Ethereum, Ethereum wallet or an ERC20 wallet, then probably you have to create one. Now, in this video, I'm not going to show you how to create one uh, a wallet on MetaMask or Mito wallet. Uh, I, I believe there are other videos that are best for this. For me, I'm now in the next few minutes, I'm going to show you right tr directly. Once you have you have a Ethereum wallet, this is how you set it up so that you are going to connect to the Binance Smart Chain blockchain network with your existing wallet and the wallet address and how to receive uh, crypto assets with the blockchain network and then uh, how to send and so forth. And for the full for, for the full details, you should look up Binance.com on Get Started on Binance Smart Chain in 60 seconds. And I'm going to elaborate very briefly in 60 seconds. Here is a quick guide. You download your MetaMask, complete a basic setup, and once you are logged in through the MetaMask, you know that the wallet address is over here. Now, the only thing that makes Binance Smart Chain BSC a little bit set up the extra step that you need to set up is this custom RPC network. Once you have set up and configure each of this into the, the configuration box and click save, you are already set up with a Binance Smart Chain wallet. Now I'm, I'm going to do it. I have already done it on my computer, so uh, I can actually share with you exactly how it is going to be done. So first thing, I, I already have my testnet and mainnet of BSC set up. The next thing is the custom RPC. Now, if you follow the steps in whichever wallet that you have loaded, because I have loaded my Ledger, Ledger Nano, usually you, most of you will be here. 
Okay, the next thing, custom RPC, the network name, specify this, the new RPC URL, the chain ID, and the symbols, and I believe they are very, very straightforward. And the next thing is you click save. Then Binance Smart Chain will appear over here. And once, by, once it is appear, you load the necessary wallets and click to Binance Smart Chain. When it is over here, you will know that the main crypto in Binance Smart Chain would be BNB. Now ignore these Ethereum logos at the moment because Binance Smart Chain is still relatively new and they are using the MetaMask interface. And man, I believe that uh, moving forward, this logo will be configurable and it will, once on the Binance Smart Chain, it will, it will change to the BNB logo. I have some cryptos on my BSC wallet. The technical standard will be BEP20. Ethereum will be ERC20. The, the one that happens on Binance will be BEP20. So it's easy. Once these are set up, you pretty much is interacting with a wallet that is that looks and feel exactly like what you have been doing with ERC20 wallets on MetaMask. So if you if you are working with custom tokens or like like me, I'm working with some of them, uh, the the Bitcoin which is in the BEP20 standard, then you should add go to the BSC scan instead of Ether scan. We go to the BSC scan, which is the which is the sort of like a ether scan alternative to BEP20, Binance Smart Chain Wallet. So you can check your address, transaction hash, the blocks, and all the contracts. So for my case, I'm if you are, we are working with uh, Binance, uh, the, the Binance version of the Bitcoin, then I will look through this. I'll take the contract address over here and copy it, copy it over to my custom uh, under my accept tab. And if I click here, I do a paste. If you want a uh, wrap ito in the BAP20 standard, you should also do the same thing. Binance pack ito. Then copy this address. Go to the custom tokens. Add tokens custom. Click. The ito is here. Click. Ito. I don't have any wrap ito. Uh, the BP wrap ito. So this will be displayed. And one of the things, how do you get a BEP20 wrap ito or a BEP20 Bitcoin? The, the easiest way is to get go to the Binance.com centralized crypto exchange, go to the fiat, the wallet, and you need to whitelist your BEP20 uh, wallet address. And if you know that the, the wallet address, let me pull out the, the wallet address is, is it's the same, it's exactly the same one with your ERC20 address. The only thing is this address is interacting, this wallet is interacting with the Binance Smart Chain blockchain network instead of the Ethereum blockchain network. If you take a look at this address and if I switch to the Ethereum, it is showing the same address. So that there is there's not much difference uh, because uh, as we all know, B BSC is a uh, like a Ethereum, they copy the source code or whatever, or the forking or whatever from. So as a result, they share the same addresses. Then the next thing is that you will go to your Binance.com. If you have a Binance.com exchange account, if you are going into Bitcoin, do a redrawal. And if you see on the e -drawer, redrawal, be sure to whitelist your BEP20 wallet, Binance Smart Chain wallet. We have many different transfer networks. We can transfer Bitcoin through the Binance Chain, Binance Smart Chain, the Bitcoin blockchain network, and even wrap Bitcoin in the ERC20. So for my case, if you want to get some of the wrap Bitcoin, which is the BSC version of the Bitcoin in your BSC wallet, you, the, the easiest way is to make sure you white list, click this and send. And after you send, you will find your address. So let me copy my address. And you see that I have actually transferred prior to this video. One, one transaction that happens on, oh, this is Rapido. So let me, let me do a Bitcoin, Binance pack Bitcoin. And click a find. Yep. So this is to my wallet. Go to this transactional hash from 
my Binance Hot Wallet to interact with the this trans interact with this. So if I go to this contract, so this this was a transaction that happened. In conclusion, we have reached the end of this video. I've shared with you how to get yourself started with a Binance Smart Chain wallet in 60 seconds, how to transfer a BEP20 crypto assets from the Binance.com over to your to your Binance Smart Chain wallet. And also uh, your wallet address will is exactly the same that of your ERC20 and how you interact with MetaMask on the Binance Smart Chain or on the Ethereum network is le relatively the same. With that, this is Warren. If you want to be sure to like and subscribe and comment in this video to support our channel, of course, I'm doing a weekly giveaway to one lucky winner each week for a physical copy of my book and the digital course. For the full details, you should check out the links on the link description box right below. I'll see you in the next video.